Hi, my name is Terry Taylor, and on behalf of our Growing in Grace creative production team, we want to welcome you to this issue of The Greenhouse. We also want to introduce you to Carol Dickerson. Uh, she is a music teacher at St. Paul Christian Academy. She's also the pianist and a children's choir leader at Woodmont Baptist Church. She is our preschool design editor. Welcome to our team, Carol. We're glad to have you. Thank you, Terry. I'm so glad to be here with all of you guys. We're so glad. Yes, Thank we're you. glad you're here. Mm -hmm. And we want to remind you that the spring curriculum will be arriving soon, so be looking for that. And we are excited about what you will be doing in the spring with your children. And we know you'll be doing a year-end program. And in this issue of Step by Step, there is a program titled Living in the Light. It's written by Kimberly Ingram. It has a whole series of characters that are all searching for the light. It's uh, so creatively done. It has wonderful scripture in it. And we're so pleased with it. Right, Dorian? That's right. And Terry, we seem to remind everybody or let you know that you can use as few as five characters or as many as 23 when you perform this. So there are small option, group, small group options and large group options with this. And also, our featured composer slash writer for this month, this issue of The Greenhouse, is Nan Grantham. And Nan's just a wonderful friend to everyone who knows anything or does anything with children's choirs. She lives in Texas with her doggy, Choctaw, <laughs> and she has just been a wonderful contributor for many years. One of her songs in the spring curriculum for preschoolers is called um, In the Springtime. And you will see that we have a set of posters that will go with that song. Um, and there will be timeless things that you can use for many years to come. And we also want to make you aware of our adorable uh, activity kits that are available on our website. We have two. One is called Hymns and Bible Songs, and then the green one is called Sing and Play. And they're full of songs that we have used in uh, our curriculum so far. And they also include um, an activity book with stickers and crayons, and they will just make wonderful Christmas gifts for your preschooler or just riding around in the car and listening. And also available on our website is a collection of Christmas songs from our curriculum that would be great gifts for your leaders or even for the children. So be sure to check those out. And don't forget, we're on Facebook, so look us up. Also, don't forget that your ministry with children through music is impacting eternity. So keep working hard, be strong, stay strong. We'll see you soon.